In the fast-paced and ever-evolving world of K-pop, one company stands out for its ability to capture the attention of fans and industry insiders alike. Dispatch. Elusive in their methods, Dispatch's exclusive reports, paparazzi-style photos, and insider information have earned the company reputation as a go-to source for breaking news, scandals, and secret hidden relationships. But the question remains, how does Dispatch seemingly know everything going on in Korea? From their extensive network of informants, to monitoring social media, and being one of only a handful of paparazzi companies in Korea, Dispatch is always ahead of the curve. So get ready to join us as we dive deep into the mysterious world of Dispatch, one of the most elusive media companies in the vibrant Korean entertainment industry. With a knack for uncovering the juiciest secrets of the K-pop world, Dispatch is not without its fair share of critics who raise eyebrows at the company's controversial practices. In this video, we're going to dig into the nitty gritty details and unravel the methods and strategies that give Dispatch an edge when it comes to finding breaking K-pop news and scandals. Plus, we'll unravel the secrets behind their undeniable success and occasional notoriety. So what even is Dispatch? Dispatch, often viewed as the TMZ of Korea, is a company that has become well known for its sensational reporting, quote, yellow journalism, and intrusive methods. Although the influence is obvious, as K-pop and Hallyu become more global, questions have been raised about their business practices, methods, and the timing of their, quote, exclusive scoops, as the company is known for their scandalous or significant exposés and for carefully planning the timing of the news spread, such as their yearly New Year's celebrity couple reveal. It's vital to remember, however, that Dispatch does not always publish information that damages a person's reputation. Every now and then, they have been known to defend or side with public figures. While some of Dispatch's reports may indeed contain elements of truth, it is essential to recognize that they often manipulate and sensationalize stories for their own benefit. Similar to America's TMZ, Dispatch uses its industry connections to work with entertainment companies. Reportedly, Dispatch may even approach an entertainment company with a story they intend to publish, giving the company an opportunity to negotiate or prevent its release through alternative stories or financial arrangements. While this may not always be the case, it highlights the complex dynamics between Dispatch and the entertainment industry. But how does Dispatch find their stories in the first place? Multiple theories have floated around the internet on how Dispatch learns information about K-pop stars. According to one theory, Dispatch employs a group of spies and undercover reporters to infiltrate the K-pop business. To get near their targets, these reporters may play different roles, such as fans, staff, or even other idols. According to a different theory, Dispatch relies on a network of sources that give them information about K-pop idols in exchange for cash or a leg up in the industry. These insiders include current or former staff, as well as fans, sasengs, or other people with access to confidential information like friends and family. As already noted, Dispatch uses a variety of tactics to learn about K-pop stars. In addition to the purported network of informants, social media tracking is an essential weapon in Dispatch's toolbox. Staff working at Dispatch's diligently search social media sites like Twitter and Instagram, keeping an eye out for posts and other activities from idols that might include hints or cues regarding the scandals of K-pop idols. Allegedly, Dispatch even follows idol secret accounts, meticulously examining their activity to piece together facts and reveal potential stories. A natural byproduct of its reputation for monitoring celebrities' phones, Dispatch has been accused of breaking into the personal devices of K-pop stars despite the company continually denying the allegations, insisting that they get information in an honest manner. Although hacking would not be a far stretch considering Dispatch's reputation for border line legal surveillance, it's still crucial for fans to value the facts and official statements surrounding these accusations. Ultimately, the company is innocent until found guilty. What do fans think about Dispatch? 
Well, in the K-pop community, Dispatch's exclusive reports frequently spark heated debates and disagreements. While some argue that Dispatch's invasion of celebrities' privacy is immoral, others contend that Dispatch is not malicious or trying to ruin celebrities' careers, and that in fact, their reports actually help the artists in question by increasing their exposure and recognizability through PR scandals. According to those who defend Dispatch, the company's exposés usually focus on stuff that isn't really a big deal but just juxtaposes the image that companies want idols to have, like smoking, drinking, clubbing, etc. However, the idols' careers are rarely permanently damaged by these revelations. Actually, if you look at the couples who Dispatch exposed, stars like Jenny and Kai's popularity actually skyrocketed because of their relationship. Some might even argue that some of the Dispatch couple's exposure were improv. The relationship might even be set up by the companies to create hype around the celebrities. Plus, even with smoking, drinking, and clubbing scandals, the long-term image of the stars is very rarely tarnished. Instead, the new edgy image and increased attention can help the idol sell millions of records. Furthermore, Dispatch serves as a forum for insiders to share information that may boost an artist's popularity without causing harm, going beyond just reporting shocking news. For example, Dispatch often pays sources in return for exclusive photos or videos to preserve the privacy of the idols and to prevent any potentially harmful information from being released. That being said, more severe legal concerns are handled differently, as was the case Dispatch helped expose the can of worms that was the Burning Sun case. Basically, some netizens argue that Dispatch works with stars and entertainment companies as business partners, not as paparazzi or stalkers. While the company takes pictures during official events and arrange photo shoots, just like any other media outlet covering events, the majority of the images they publish are actually given to them by fans or those with press access. Also, Dispatch helps companies by giving their artists more exposure through airport interviews, feature stories, and expert photo shoots in other words, it is a mutually beneficial relationship that helps everyone. But if Dispatch has a drop of defenders, it has an ocean of critics, thanks to its reputation for ruthlessly invading the privacy of idols. Fans claim the Dispatch exclusive reports, which often include paparazzi images and footage where the photographers harass, follow, and stalk idols, go too far and invade celebrities' private lives. What's more, many fans consider Dispatch's reporting to be super biased, citing times where Dispatch has been accused of favoring some idols or companies while singling out others. These fans feel that Dispatch's prejudice ruins its reputation as a trustworthy news source. K-pop fans also condemn Dispatch for the likely damage they can cause to idols' careers. The power of Dispatch's exclusive stories to drastically impact an idol's reputation and standing within the industry is undeniable, proven by the many times when idols face backlash, career setbacks, or even had to leave their groups after Dispatch exposed their private lives. For example, where Jenny and Kai have only flourished after the expose, Cube stars Hyuna and Don were kicked from their company, and while they found a new home at P Nation, the situation was unfair and cruel to both of them. Irrespective of personal opinions, Dispatch undeniably holds substantial influence in the K-pop industry, as their exclusive reports can significantly impact the careers and public image of K-pop idols, making them a force to be reckoned with. And that ends our fascinating exploration into the world of Dispatch, the unstoppable force behind K-pop news and scandals. In this video, we've looked into the many methods and strategies employed by Dispatch to maintain their lucrative and influential position in the industry, from their vast network of informants to its meticulous monitoring of social media. Dispatch has perfected the art of uncovering the secrets that lie within the famously hidden realm of K-pop idols' private lives. Although it's vital to realize that Dispatch Dispatch's stories have drawn criticism and sparked controversy, we cannot ignore the significant influence they have had on the K-pop scene. Ultimately, their capacity to draw attention to the lives of idols and to spur discussion among netizens is a sign of their ongoing power, and it is our duty as K-pop fans to engage with Dispatch's material thoughtfully and ethically, while keeping in mind the possible repercussions of our fascination with idols' personal life. It is ultimately our job to be respectful of the boundaries between an artist's public persona and their private life even when Dispatch has the power to reveal secrets and ignite your curiosity. What do you think? Do you think Dispatch does more harm than good? Or do you think Dispatch is not the villain K-pop fans make it out to be? Let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe.